calm conditions today. Hey, 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 welcome back to another beautiful day. Today, here at Fort Myers Beach, Florida, at Bowditch Point, where we have the beach cart. We have tons of rods and reels. We're gonna throw out for live bait. We're gonna throw live bait out. We're gonna sit back, relax, enjoy the sunshine. Finally, we got a beautiful day. It's been rainy the past few days. Last weekend, we got skunked, unable to come up with any good videos for you guys. We hope to get on a good one for you today. We do have a low tide, dead low tide, just starting to come in. So the water is very shallow right now. It's a little mixed up, stirred up from the weather lately. We've had some rough weather, a lot of rain, a lot of clouds. Today, we have some sunshine, finally. So it's a beautiful day today. We're gonna get on some fish. All right, so we're gonna throw the cast net, and get some live bait here. Try to get some live bait at least. We'll see what happens. We like to spread the cast net out before we throw it. Make sure we don't have any knots or tangles in it. Spread it out. Just like that. Looks pretty good. Grab it about halfway down, right about there. All in one hand. Some people throw it over their shoulder. I like to put one end in my mouth and grab an arm length about right there. With that, I could throw it like a frisbee. Just like that. So let's go find some fish. Oh, a lady, even better. I thought it was a mullet. Wow. We got good fake puppy, guys. Good puppy. Nice. Nice the lady fish. I'd even throw them out whole on the big pole if we can. All right, we hit the jackpot on that cast, guys. We got everything we need right here. Oh, my lantis. A little bit of everything. Oh my God, look how big that one is. What is that one? Oh, we got a crab. Nice pinfish, finger mullet. Look good on that one. All right, we got our bait. Let's take a look. I filled it up with water. We got our aerator, keeping them nice and lively. We got probably three dozen finger mullet, a couple live pinfish, and then this big lady fish. I'm trying to get it, revive it. It's probably not gonna make it, but I wanna get them out on the big pole lively if I can. If not, we're gonna have to cut them up and throw them out cut bait. All right, guys, so we got cut mullet, or ladyfish, I'm sorry. We're gonna throw out the first half, and then the second half. Unable to keep them alive, so we're gonna throw them out as a cut bait. Get it through both sides. There we go. Expose that hook as much as possible. There we go. Cut lady okay. fish. 150 pound nylon leader. 150 pound. Oh no. We were on, guys. And whatever it was, it came off. Wow. Just got hit by something serious, guys. Get that hat. Look, get that look hat. That. Get that hat. Can I go in? The lady fish has got chopped in half. Whatever it was is gone. Holy shit. Yep. Sharp. Yep. Definitely sharp. Well, the, keep it out good. there. Honestly. I'm going to change this out. Are you sure? That's for now. I, yeah, I know. But I'm going to put this on now. All right, guys, we put on a little heavier leader on this one, 40 pound. We're gonna throw out the live pinfish. Nice size pinfish here. There we go. Nice offshore wind, wind blowing offshore. It's keeping the waters really calm. We're able to get a nice far cast. Good conditions. I think we got one. Ah, uh, no, something was hitting, and it's off. All right, something's playing with it, a little small, let's see. Big chunk gone. 
everything's gone. Everything's missing the hook. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie on both smaller pieces now. the drag on a little bit. And pull up a little bit because that's a good rod to remember pull then reel down. Pull up then reel down. Wow it's pulling a lot more drag. <laughs> it's gotta be a nice little shark or a a nice stingray. Stingray almost ain't going. I think it is. Was there cut bait on there? A whole mullet. That's what it's all about right there. Nice workout. Might be a red fish. There's some big fish that come in here. This this deep, this water do drops off really deep. Right there, you can see the change in color. In the About water. eight feet. Yeah, so giant fish come through here. Wow, help her out. <laughs> oh, she, this is all her. <laughs> That's a good rod. That's a good rod too. That's a seven six. Is, is it snack? What the heck? Don't lose it. Oh, it is a big fish, wow. Yeah, dude, it's huge. It's pulling more drag than she's reeling in, really. Sticking to the bottom, that tells me it's a big rig. That's what I think it is. Big rig. Because those are hard to reel in. They're really big strong. Rig. You like that rod though, huh? There's good backbone on it. 7.6? Yeah. Almost like an 8 footer. It's an Andy. See? Big rig. Yeah. Uh, Could be a big nurse shark. Could be a big nurse shark or a small nurse shark, I should say. There it is. What is it? Can't even tell you. Big ray. Why am I always getting this thing right? Man. That's a negative fish, sorry. Doesn't count. Not really. That's the best way you can get though, as a cow nose. Oliver, we're all over your line, bro. We got a kingfish on, guys. We got a little, it looks like a king. He jumped out of the water. Looks like a Spanish or a king or even a black tip. Or a little tarpon. It could be a little tarpon. A whiting. A baby whiting. Hold this. Oh, your lines got wrapped. All right, baby whiting. There it is, guys. Bait, bait. Yeah. Another baby whiting. Baby. Another baby Another whiting. Another baby whiting. Ooh, grab him. Never had one before. Yeah. Two waiting. They're actually good That's eating. These are good eating when they get a little bigger. They're a little small. I don't know. It, it's just, uh, I came to check on the rod and reel. And it seems like something's on here. Probably a stingray. Let's see. Yeah, it's a stingray. I didn't even know. Ooh, it's a big one.
Yes? Get it! Out of the middle waiting. Another waiting. I wanted to grab it. It's slippery. Actually, waiting aren't that slippery. They're a little more sandpaper. Yeah. Yeah. You know, go the other Ooh. way. See. It's got like a purple tint to it. It's my favorite yeah. color. Yeah. Not that white, are they? No. See the silver kingfish? What do they call them? Yeah, they are. They're called uh, silver kingfish. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. But before we go, before the rain comes and the thunder and lightning, we're going to see if we can catch a snook. I threw on a lure. We're going to have to see if we can sight fish a snook. The water's pretty clear. So let's go see if we can find one. For the video. Let's do it for the video. There we go. Oh, we lost it. I got out of the video. We lost right, I got it. it. I snagged them though. Yeah. I seen it. I got it fishing out of the video. Yeah. <laughs> In the water. Had him. Thank you all for tuning in. Today wasn't the best day. Like I said, the weather wasn't that good the whole week. We've been waiting for the fishing to pick up. It's still a lot of junk fish, stingray, ladyfish, whiting, nothing great. But it's still a video for you guys' entertainment. Stay tuned for more to come. We'll see you on the next one.